guys. So today we're going to be getting rid of an EFI password on a mid-2015 iMac. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we're going to be using to open it is this trusty little tool here. It looks like a small pizza cutter. Um, you see it again? I can't see it. Okay. Why do I need to use that? Uh, so what this helps prevent is when you go in here, it has a little stopper here so it limits how far you can go in. Uh, with other tools, uh, so this is another iMac screen, it is possible to damage one of these ribbon cables here. I forget which one it is. And so it's this one. We had a DIY repair come in where he said he replaced his hard drive and now there was a stripe running down the screen. Um, so he actually put the tool in too far and ripped this ribbon cable. Uh, so we had that happen just a couple days ago. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to start on the top so you can get a feel for it. You're going to start going in and you want it flat like this. And it's going to be kind of tough. You're going to go all the way around. You might need to go back and forth a couple times. Okay. So now we're going to do each of the sides. Yes, yeah, so the tool. The tool obviously it's meant to be replaceable, so you can pull the blades out uh, and replace them with new blades. It comes with a couple spares in the package. Uh, so if the blade ever comes off while you're doing this, uh, you can just snap it right back on. That's what I like about this, is it's not a one-time use. I see that you cut the adhesive all around that edge. So, excuse me. It's going to be doing it on this edge. So you see it's starting to come apart already. So you can use this little plastic nub here. So safeties on the sides only? Yeah, to gently, very gently pry it off. So you see it's starting to come. So, and then you see it's just some of these things that make it keep sticking. You can just break those with your fingers. You have to be careful here. So there's two ribbon cables and sometimes there are actually other cables. So how do they get rid of this air connector on this one? You have to snap on this one? Yeah, so we get a better this view. One. You squeeze the two ends? Yeah. Okay. okay so and then one. this one has a metal hook on it though, see? So yeah, it has a nice little black flap there. I don't know if you guys can see it, if it's focused. Mm -hmm. Unless um, so you want to pull up on that, and then pull out. Now when you pull it on the bottom, does the screen come off or do you have to break loose the bottom too? Uh, typically you'll have to go around the bottom with a pizza cutter. Well, not pizza cutter, but... I call it a pizza cutter. <laughs> oh, we're going to get the freaking pizza cutter. Let's keep working it then? Yeah. A few times. And be very careful you don't drop the screen, it's incredibly delicate. Take one more time, huh? Ooh, that's actually good. Keep pulling that. Yep. A lot of times the adhesive on the bottom is a pain in the ass, but this time it's actually coming off quite nicely. Alright, so you've made a heat shield over there. Okay, so I made a heat shield. Uh, to put over the fan. Uh, you could take this out, that's going to add like 20 minutes to your job. Uh, to be quite honest, it's not necessary, so I made a heat shield to protect all of the plastic here. I'm going to be using the hot air gun and blowing this way, uh, so as not to burn this connector, not burning this connector down here. So if you're looking for the board number, it's hidden in small print right there by that connector right there, you can see it. Uh, so this bad boy right here is the one we're going to be looking at. Uh, we want to remember which pin is pin 1 and what orientation it went in. Uh, so you might see the little dot right there. I'm not sure if you can see it on mm -hmm. camera. Yep. Okay. Um, so I already took my phone and took a picture of that on a previous take. Um, 
so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our heat gun. Putting the flex on there too? No flex, taking it off. What kind of settings are we um, using here? So uh, right now I'm using 480, so just under max heat uh, and 60 airspeed, just over half airspeed. Max do take quite a bit of heat too to... Now normally it wouldn't be taking this long, but I'm doing this in the chassis and I don't want to give it too much heat. Uh, that's why I have it on lower settings. You can see now just to cool it down it's roughing up to its max airspeed. Okay, so now we can put this thing in the dumpster. Very funny. Remove this off the bench. Yep. Okay, so now that we have our chip out, we want to plug in our uh, flash reader. Uh, so this one goes to USB, so I just plug it into any of our USBs, or USB ports. Uh, now it comes with the driver CD, you're going to need to run the installer and stuff, um, so that it actually recognizes this. So there are some instructions on here. Uh, so this is supposed to be a representation of the IC. It has pin 1 in the upper left corner, from our perspective. Uh, so that means this. So that correlates to the dot on the chip then? Yes, that correlates to the dot on the chip. Okay. The dot always indicates pin 1. Uh, so we have this little nifty adapter that does this to dip 8. So we're going to put that in there. Like that. So it's nice and solid. Then we want to press down, drop the chip in, lift up, wiggle it a little with our fingers. Uh, and then we can move right over onto the screen. Okay, so this is our tool that we want to use right here. So we're going to open it up, make it full screen, and then we choose which microchip this is. Uh, so that's from the last project I was working on. Uh, so you may need to take it out, uh, back out of the adapter, and look at the numbers on it. This one is 25L64, so I'm going to type that in here, 25L64. And 06E, 06E. Okay. Now that we have the correct chip selected, we're going to put the IC back in there. Then we're going to click on this button here, which reads the programming off of it. So sometimes it will say uh, pin detect error and it'll have a little red X around one of these pins over here. Uh, typically what I do for that is if we switch over to the real life camera here, um, I just take my finger, I press down and wiggle it a little bit and I try again. Okay. And sometimes that fixes it. So red, go ahead and click cancel. And then so now we can see the file here which is blank in this part, but you can see... Don't you hit the search thing for it? Yeah, you can hit the search thing, but here is, you can see there's actually data here, even though a lot of it looks blank at the top. So there's all... So we're going to do control F, we're going to find dollar sign, S V S. Find next. You want to make sure you select ASCII two.
Okay. We'll put the chip back on the board. Remembering which way the dot went. Sucks I'm having flux on there. Yeah. Okay, now I got those two tickets on the US. Uh, so right now I'm starting to peel the adhesive up on the back of the iMac LCD. And she lays the screen on foam so that way she doesn't have a chance of cracking or scratching it. And as you can see he's just pulling that right off. Once you get it started it's nice and easy. And after that it's pretty easy. Just go down the line. I'm just joking. Okay, anyways, go ahead. So now we are reapplying the adhesive for the camera. And so now I can start pulling it off. Mm hmm. Go nice and slow. Thank you for my amazing cameraman for starting this for me. Now be really careful not to damage. Okay, Alex. So what are we doing here? What are we using? Me, me. Uh, we're using red double-sided ad ad uh, adhesive tape. Which is in our store. Yep. Store.techies. Techies.store. Techies.store. I had that the wrong way around. So he's cleaned and prepped the surface with alcohol and removed the old adhesive. So it has a great bonding experience. Experience. He's Sounds an Apple. Fancy. He's an Apple lover. Uh -huh. Wait till I show you the screen logo that you put on his computer, guys. Oh uh, yeah. Uh -huh. I'll share that with you at the end of the video. It's a challenge every day. Very important to have a very clean surface so the screen will not come off. Now you also can use red tape or you can actually in our store we have the official Apple adhesive strips that are pre-cut already, uh, which we do prefer that method, but we do want to show an alternative method here um, in case you don't have access to that. And this is a little bit cheaper. They both work about the same, this is cheaper and a bit faster. Mm -hmm. Now you want to remember not to put uh, any red adhesive over the webcam. That's why I'm stopping right there. Laps. We are just going to cut it, kind of like Apple Corporation cuts into my soul. Very funny. He's just joking, people. Is it all taped and all flattened out? Now we're ready to put the screen back on. All right, everybody. So Alex is now going to put on the screen. So he starts out by using the lower lip and starts to raise the screen up. 
and then we have two cables attached as you're starting to seal this up. So one has a metal latch on it, as you can see. Carefully puts that in. Closes that up. And there's one more cable above it. That just clips in. Okay, so now it's ready. Everything's all sealed. Is it ready to close it up? This is your opportune time to get the screen aligned. So at the base here, I'm going to want to zoom in. So you see that little lip? If I run my finger down there, I can feel that. That means the screen needs to move that way a little bit. So I'm going to make sure it's flush on the two yeah. sides. Yep, I don't want to be able to feel that with my finger. Or a gap in between down here, make sure that's flush yeah. as well, too, on the bottom lip. Okay. So now it looks like it's good. Now just rub your hands all the way around it yep. and seal it. Obviously not too hard, you don't want to break it. I'm going to give it a nice cleaning of removing of the fingerprints. Mm -hmm. Alright. Right here, bonding. Can we do the shake test? Okay. Let's try the shake test. My testing. favorite cameraman needs to go talk to a customer right Put your hand there and put your hand in front of it and test it. No, no, upside down. Oh, upside down? Okay. Your hand to catch it just in case. Mm -hmm. And see that it does hold and does work.